Hey, Dobby the Fixing Elf here, and welcome back to the channel. And now it's time to find out what's in the toolbox. So in the toolbox today, this is Hammer I Restored. It was quite a mess when I found it. I restored it really well, or at least I think I restored it really well. But yeah, it's a nice hammer, nice weight. Useful for all sorts of like repairs. I mainly use it to help me with stubborn fasteners. So what I do is I get a spanner or a sacrificial item and then just give it a good whack. And that would normally jolt the um nut loose or the bolt loose. I've also used it with my chisel for when you have to chisel out certain things. It gives you a nice good impact that helps you get in there. So if you've got a, a bolt that's broken off and you're chasing it around with a chisel, Another useful tool, it's not too heavy for that. I'll give you an idea of the weight in just a moment. So we have the scales all set up now. So let me just pop these on. And they are 2.1 pounds, which isn't too bad. Let me just flip through that. Which is the equivalent to 1,038 kilograms, or grams. So I say not kilograms, that'd be bloody heavy. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the screen. I think the light may be affecting it a bit. Here is a collection of the photos and videos I took of the restoration I did on the hammer, or mainly the head of the hammer, as I replaced the handle with a new one, which is 10 inches long. So as you can see, the hammer was in a bit of a state. The old handle was pretty much non-existent, and the head was very heavily rusted. I started by removing the old handle. I used a cordless drill, a chisel, and a pair of pliers to do this. It was stuck in the head quite hard, but once I got it out, I soaked the head overnight in a combination of white bedinger and bicarbonate soda, which really helped loosen the rust off. I then used a combination of a wire brush and sandpaper to clean up the head. As you can see I did it in multiple stages with multiple grits of sandpaper. Once I got the head as good as I could get it, I wiped it down with a bit of WD-40 to help prevent any more rust forming. And then I moved on to the handle, which I used boiled linseed and some old rags to wipe it over with a couple of coats, applying the linseed, wiping it down, giving it a quick sand off with some light sandpaper and then recovering with the oil. I did this about two or three times, I can't actually remember now. To be honest I really wish I had to film the whole process, but it was before I was doing YouTube. I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out, considering that I only use hand tools and hand, like hand sanding on it. Is there anything you do differently? Let me know in the comments down below. I have to say the whole restoration was very therapeutic. I highly recommend it to anyone. So my final thoughts on this hammer that I've restored. You've seen all the footage and everything else that I've done to it. I really do like it. It's coming really handy in my toolbox. So sometimes you can find something that looks like junk as you saw with this one. And you can turn it into something really useful. So I'm planning to do some more res restoration videos in the channel in the future. Once I find a few more items to restore. There's a special, hopeful, hopefully special one coming in the near future in the spring. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching until the end. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not drop a like on this video. If you have any questions about this video, or any of my other videos, why not ask in the comments and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. If you want to see more from me, why not subscribe to the channel. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a sensational day.